Nicole Wallace, what just happened? Listen, the Democrats, I think, articulated their message in the first five minutes of that um, press avail, uh, Senator Schumer saying that the process is rigged. Here's the, what the Democrats have in terms of wind at their back. The polls that are out most recently show that 69 percent, somewhere between 69 and 71 percent of the whole public, which includes a whole lot of Republicans, want evidence and witnesses. That cross pressures McConnell and that exposes the process as being the greater political risk to McConnell than the result. Only 51 percent of all Americans support Donald Trump's um, impeachment and removal, which is a lot for a sitting president. 51 percent of Americans don't want to wait until next election. but. This is Trump we're talking about. So all of McConnell's exposure is around how he conducts this trial and how he plans to conduct this trial is to try to shut down witnesses. There's some great reporting from our friend Robert Costa about how they plan to keep John Bolton out of public view, that even if uh, the Democrats get four Republicans to vote with them to hear from John Bolton, who's a firsthand witness to what he described as a drug deal. He's the president's advisor who's called his Turkish policy compromised by financial or personal interests. I'm guessing that they are terrified of the idea of John Bolton testifying, but they should be more terrified of the poll numbers, which show 71 percent, 69 percent, and even among Republicans, it's 48 to 44 percent of Republicans that want to hear from witnesses. So Mitch McConnell is playing with lit matches when he plays these process games today. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.